This video is brought to you by Skillshare. I recently bought a $50,000 Tesla solar roof and just like any 49 year old millennial would do, I ordered it online. So here's what happened. I was browsing YouTube and happened to come across a video announcing the arrival of the brand new Tesla version 3 solar roof. As I was watching that video, I opened up a second tab in my browser just to spec one out for fun. I honestly had zero intention of ever buying one. It's just a guilty hobby of mine to go to solar panel websites and spec out brand new systems just to see how expensive they would be. So I went on Tesla's website and got to work. The standard model begins at their promised price of $35,000, but I quickly realized if you increase your budget, just a modest 15 grand, you'll get an extra two power walls and a slightly better performance during power outages, which honestly seems like a decent value. Then we get to colors. If you get any other color besides black, it'll cost you up to 2,500 more if you want red. Now I'm all about saving money as we all know. So we're going to go with black today. Next, they give you the option to upgrade to 19 inch tiles for an extra 1500. Nope, that's not gonna happen now. We have the choice of underside color, either black or white, but with white, it's an extra grand and I would be worried about getting that dirty, so black it is. And finally, we have autopilot for an additional three grand for the system. It will stay in its own lane and keep pace. And I... <laughs> okay, I can't do any further. And of course, smash that like button. One of the most frequent comments on my video is about the payoff period for my solar Tesla roof. So in this video, I thought I'd give you a complete rundown of what it cost me and how I'm planning to recoup my money. Looking like the winner of the sweepstakes, baby. First up, two disclaimers. The Tesla solar roof is expensive and it's not for everyone. Since Tesla raised the price earlier this year, the roof is probably not for most. Performance wise, the Tesla solar roof is also not the best option. You can get better performance at a better price with panels. For me, I chose the tiles over panels for three reasons. Price played a factor, but I also needed to replace a 40 year old shingles roof. If I was gonna do a replacement, it wasn't gonna be with more asphalt shingles as I'm collecting rainwater. Back at the time when I priced out a metal roof replacement, it actually was par to par with the solar Tesla roof. If you compare this price, the Tesla price were right there. And then finally, the last reason why I went with solar is because of this channel. I usually am not an early adopter. I like to wait on technology to prove itself. So I was somewhat hesitant, but I was ready to take the jump knowing that if I document the process, I might be able to recoup some of the money through this channel. And boy, did that work out. Okay, so this is what I paid, 50,820 and 18 cents. If you've seen some of the earlier videos, you know that there were some additional fees here for repairing the roof. 50,820 and 18 cents. I did not take a loan. I didn't finance this amount. I just put it on a credit card, which I paid off right away. And because of that, I got cash back of 762 and 30 cents. Then I applied for the self-generating incentive program. That is a statewide program here in California where you can get a grant if you generate your own energy and have the ability to store it in a battery. And that was quite a complicated process, but I ended up getting approval for 5,800. So if you happen to be in California, you can apply for that battery grant. Next up, tax credit. We finished the roof in 2020 the federal tax credit at the time was 26 percent and it ended up being nine thousand seven hundred fifty nine dollars then in my previous video you saw a breakdown of the solar generation and then i compared my electricity bills from the previous year in eight months it was more than a thousand dollar saving and i projected it to be 1600 for the entire year this is where most people stop they only look at the 50,000 and then they break down okay how many years is it going to take me if i only save 1600 a year to pay off 50,000 there's two mistakes first up it's not 50,000 it's less if you get the tax rebate and all the other things and the second thing is it's not just solar 
it's a solar tile roof. So I'm replacing an entire roof that needed to be replaced anyway. You normally are not replacing a roof to make your money back. You're replacing a roof because it needs replacing. When you're remodeling a kitchen, how many years is it gonna take for you to pay off that kitchen? Unlimited, because it doesn't make any money back. So you kind of have to take out that portion of what it costs to replace a roof and just focus on the solar portion. Even if you look at this breakdown here, you see that they broke it out in what is solar and what is actually roof tiles, like dummies, for example. And the 14,000 is roughly what you would be paying today to replace a roof of that size. Technically, you would have to deduct the 14,000 from that price. And then you maybe look at the electricity bill and say how many years is going to take you if you deduct the 14,000 for replacing the roof. So I just wanted to point that out because every other comment is like it's going to take you 30 years to pay off your solar system. Most solar systems don't have a battery. Most solar systems don't come with a new roof. But for the sake of this breakdown, I'm going to keep it at 50,000. The next thing is referrals. If you've seen any of the videos, you know that at some point I'm going to mention my referral code. And if somebody ends up buying a solar Tesla roof, panels, there are incentives. I get a reward of $500 back. You get a reward of $500 back. Counting just the referrals that are already executed. So they've placed the order and they've completed the installation. And I actually got a check in my hand. That comes to 2400 so far. I should have used one of your referral codes. Unfortunately, when I placed the order, I wasn't really aware of this, so I used no one's code. I wish I did. Boom. What's next? When I ordered this Tesla solar roof, I started this channel with zero subscribers. I made a video on my other YouTube channel where I talked about my car. So granted, I had a little bit of a head start. I had about 500 subscribers when I posted that video. The first couple of videos did well, but they weren't doing well enough that I would get to monetization you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and you have to have 4,000 watch hours. It took me probably seven, eight months to reach both of those goals. But once I got past that point, I was able to make some money at the beginning. It was just a couple of bucks. At some point, as we get closer to the actual construction phase, the video where it was just the Tesla crew doing the construction, those seven days, that video that I posted the next week, by now has over 800,000 views. I then decided to do one big video where I just put all the episodes together in one. So it creates a seal. And then reposted a 55 minute version. And that video, in terms of the AdSense money, that video did very well. So I'm gonna show you how much money I made on YouTube. I'm also gonna include sponsorship there. So I'm just gonna give you the total number. And this is the money that I've made up to this point, so basically a year and eight months later, starting from zero subscribers to now in terms of YouTube, AdSense money and sponsorship. And that amount is, because this is actual cash that I made, 817.52. So this is everything I've already collected this year. If you break that down, this is where we start at 50 grand. We got 762.30 in credit card cash back. We got 5,800 as a grant for the battery. We got a tax rebate credit, actual money that I didn't have to pay in taxes this year. We got the electricity bill. Now I'm gonna calculate it for the entire year, even though we still have like two months to go. What else? The referrals. I'm not gonna calculate the 500 bucks. And now the big one. YouTube. So, so far, the entire system is costing me actually $2,681.36. And I understand this is not everybody's situation, but it is something that I feel anyone can do if they're passionate and if they're willing to take a chance and learn. I'm shooting with a camera right now and it's a Panasonic GH2, which probably doesn't mean anything to you. But if you are any filmmaker, you know that this camera by now is over 10 years old. 
and I actually bought it used on eBay for 300 bucks. I want to drive home the point that making a YouTube video doesn't require expensive equipment. Being curious and willing to learn is what can make a difference. I went into YouTube because I was excited about the opportunity to learn and connect with an audience and tell stories. I'm going to share how much money I project to make for the rest of the year in a moment, but this is a good segue to thank Skillshare for their support. It's an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative or career journey. It offers thousands of classes on topics including illustration design, photography, video, freelancing and more. I'd like to recommend a class that is focused on productivity, specifically for creatives. Thomas Frank, a Skillshare veteran, teaches a system that brings out your best. I'm really kind of a systems builder. I love thinking about the internal systems that actually help me do what I need to do. He starts out with mindset, getting you to take on a professional approach to all of your endeavors. Professional mindset is simply not relying on inspiration to strike in order for you to do your creative work. Build the right environment for your work workspace. And finally, making use of collaboration and delegation, all to maximize your creative output. Welcome to lesson six, which is about collaboration and delegation. No, okay, it's not, it's not, it's not really it. It's a two hour class that pays dividends by an order of magnitude. And this is what's great about Skillshare. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So take advantage now. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now back to my financial breakdown and how I see the rest of the year shape up. As I'm shooting this, it's middle of September. Let me share what I'm comfortably projecting for the rest of the year. When I look at my app, I can see more than 20 orders for Tesla Solar. If they should all go through, that is worth between eight and 10 grand of additional referral fees. Even though they are confirmed orders, they are not completed yet and they can be canceled at any time. So that number is most likely going to be less. In terms of contracts that I've already signed and the anticipated YouTube AdSense money for the rest of the year conservatively is gonna come in at 6,700 for the next three months. And then if I indeed will get 10 people at least finish installation of their Tesla solar panels or tiles, I'll get an extra free power wall. This is not the end for my solar journey. This office right now here in about three months or so is going to be demoed. With that, we're going to have a new roof coming to the garage and we're gonna, of course, use the same tiles for that. It's all gonna be part of this channel's journey. So if you're interested, in the next video, I'm going to tackle some of the most frequent questions that I get on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep things sunny. Cheers. Are you interested in taking an editing or YouTube class taught by me? If yes, please take three minutes and fill out the questionnaires in the video description so I can design the classes just for you. Thank you and happy editing.